Oh, one, two, three, get up, get on up. So today, I'm gonna vlog the day in the life of an unemployed performer during a pandemic. So all ready to go in this mad house. Mam's hoovering, as always. She never stops hoovering. Mila's in her dramas. Just got out of bed. It's midday. Still, still like this. All the time. Are you gonna get up? Are you gonna go for a run? No? Are you gonna do any exercise? Shocking. So I'm gonna take you on my run. Um, I like to listen to music while I run and I always listen to 90s like Clubland. <laughs> it just gets me pumped, it gets me going. Um, but I run every single day and I am running at the minute for Let's Help Heaven Helps, which is, which is a charity um, in my town. So I'm running nearly five miles every day. Well, I am running five miles every day, sometimes more. And this week I am going to be running a half marathon and at the end of the month, a marathon. So this is good training, getting five miles out of the way. And I'm going to stick you on here, just get a little bit of footage of, of me route and maybe chat along the way. Yeah, this is just a day in the life. Oh, I hate this hill. Ah. Get moving to the cruising down. Make love. Listen to the music. Woo! Go on, Gail. Right. It's funny. All runners all seem to acknowledge each other. Everyone like does a little nod or a hello. It's actually quite nice. I just hit 5k on 26 minutes, which is very average and a little bit slow for me actually. Um, but I just thought I'd stop, I never normally stop, I normally carry on, I've got another 3k to go, 8 kilometers, 5 miles. But I just thought I'd show you the tide, I don't know if you can hear it because it's very windy. But, I absolutely love coming and running down here. Like, even in this weather, it's a little bit windy. Um, even in the rain, in the dark, like the snow and the ice wasn't so great the other day. Um, I came running with Chris, who you might meet later on today, hopefully. Um, and we were slipping all over the place. Running right now just really gets me. Gets, one, it gets me out the house, which I'm sure everyone can appreciate. Um, and I just really, really. It just, it just motivates me. Obviously while I'm not working and while I'm preparing for auditions to come around and for the industry to get back up and running again, I'm running and I am feeling really fit. In the audition that I went to for the cruise ship before Christmas, I felt really fit and it felt good because I'd been running and keeping fit and I could see around the room that a lot of the lads very, very quickly like ran out of breath and ran out of fitness. So I'm quite pleased with myself there. But what I have noticed is my hamstrings are getting tighter and tighter. So I need to stretch more. That's what I've realized I need to do is stretch more like before or after the runs. The stop it to wave. <laughs> it's really, really motivating me. Like just, just running. I started off with five k's. Right now, like I said at the start, I'm running for Let's Help Heaven Helps, which is a charity in my town called Heaven, called Heaven Helps. 
and they're like a food bank and they help people in need and especially throughout this time they've helped so many people in the community so there's a big group of us trying to raise as much money as possible we're trying to run as far as we possibly can i think we've got originally the target was 500 miles by the end of january i think we we surpassed that very very quickly um, so we've got like a goal of 2,000 miles um, collectively to run so I will put the link below um, to donate it can be as much or as little as you possibly can but we're really really trying to do something to give back to the community I just thought I'd, I'd come on for a quick chat I'm about to hit a hill so I've probably done it at the right time look I know it's it's really hard and these times we can everybody's really really down at the minute and it can be really hard to get out of bed but once you are out of bed, if even if it's at like midday, one, two o'clock in the afternoon, and you've dragged yourself out of bed at that time, get ready, go for a run, and then honestly, you'll feel so productive for the rest of the day. Um, I don't get out of bed early. When I can, I do. But otherwise, like my runs are generally like mid-afternoon, early evening. So that's what I do. And it, it, it just helps me be productive for the rest of the day and, and keeps me motivated and, and like stimulates my mind. So get up, you gotta get up, get out and do it. What's that musical from? Comment below what that musical's from because I can't what that musical's from because I don't remember. But I've got probably two and I've just walked half a K probably. Two and a half K to go and then we're home. done which is good I'm just gonna check the time so overall time was 47 or 8 so let's take four minutes off because I stopped to talk to you for four minutes down the time so let's say 43 between 43 and 44 which is good for five miles so I'm just waiting to hear back from Chris and then we're gonna head back out down down the time and do a little hip workout, that's what we normally do, so I'll come along with that. What's that? Is that the start of it? Well, I've already started today, but... Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Is this on? Yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Gary. Welcome to my vlog. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe on YouTube, um, like us on Instagram. Um, we're going to do competitions and all sorts. Gonna, uh, if you like and like and share this fucking post, I'll uh, you'll be entered into the competition to win a signed copy of me bell end. Hey, I don't have that many followers. <laughs> there he is, Virgin of the Year. How does it feel? <laughs> There it is. This is where we. This, this is where we used to go and do. Saying Christopher pretends that he doesn't like social media. It's not that. It's not that. I just don't like the people that use social media. <laughs>
I can sit on his. No, I didn't notice it before. If you are out and about and you're walking your dog, whether you're down here on Geordie's Field down the Tyne or wherever you are in the country or the world, pick up your dog poo. Try not to swear. Christopher Mali on Instagram. His links will be in the description below. <laughs> but thanks, Chris. The bag, See you next time. Till next time, folks. <laughs>a job, just give me a job, please, please, please. I'm bored, so bored. Well, I'm not bored, you can tell by today that I'm, I don't really get bored, but um, it would be nice to work, it would. Right, let's get these words right. <laughs> Lyrics. We were victims of the night. The chemical, physical, kryptonite helped us to the base and the fade. so hard to record in a busy house. You can just hear everybody in every room. We're victims of the night. <coughs> right, let's do a sound check. Oh, don't you dare look back, just keep your eyes on me. That works, good level. Let's go. Oh, I hate it, I hate it so much, I hate it so much. <sighs> right, focus, focus, focus. Do I need to put this up a little bit? I feel like I do. <sighs> I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I hate it. But it's gotta be done. <laughs> so, because I've been ill, I'm still very phlegmy, very chesty. So, I, I'm gonna try this again tomorrow. Maybe a little bit earlier in the day. I've still got two or three days before this has to be sent in, so. It's just very annoying. I need to get rid of it all because I'm not reaching where I need to reach, so. We'll go again tomorrow. Well, I've tried the self-tape and I'm still too ill. So I am going to give it another go tomorrow. You know, these things happen, and I, but I don't want to send in something that isn't showing me off 100%. But I hope you've enjoyed the day in the life of a performer out of work in a pandemic, which would probably be the title of this, to be fair. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, like links and stuff are below. Um, to all my social media and Chris's social media as well and thank you so much for watching I'm going to be doing more of these but I'm going to do a few story times as well people have asked me to do some story times of like um, cruise ship stories and my time on cruise ships so I'm definitely going to have some um, reflecting videos on that but thank you so much for watching everybody and I will see you next time ciao ragazzi bye